What's up, Trader's Edge? It's Mark Sebastian, your only option, and this is your look at the week ahead. Today, I'm going to give you the levels I'm watching in SPX, the Qs, and the Russell 2000. We're going to look at the VIX. We're going to talk about NVIDIA earnings because those loom large, uh, and we'll spend a little time on uh, commodities as well. Uh, I'll also give you the five stocks I'm watching. So uh, let's dig in. All right. So here we are. The SPX is just off an all time high. Um, you know, the all time high was achieved. Uh, for a close on the 15th, we had an interday all-time high on the 16th before we split off a little bit, uh, and we're still above 5,300. That 5,300 level is big. Um, what was interesting on Friday, the way trading was, was we kind of were stuck uh, with 5,300 as a floor and 5,325 in the futures being a ceiling, uh, and that kept us in a really tight range into the bell, which I thought was kind of interesting. We did get a little bit of a lift in the last few minutes, but uh, that was about it. Um, next stop is, you know, the question is, do we break back below uh, or are we heading higher? Uh, Q's similar story. Uh, they don't have some of the technical issues. It was interesting. They were actually down on Friday, second day in a row. Could be taking a little bit of a breather ahead of NVIDIA earnings and then there's the Russell 2000, which, uh, you know, got a big boost from GameStop and AMC and pulled back a little bit over the last couple of days. Uh, it still looks relatively strong. Um, if 200 can hold for a while, then I think we will shoot for um, an all-time high close, uh, at least a recent high close, which would be above 2010. Watch that level. I'd love to see us get a, a break higher. Um, what I want you to notice on the Russell in particular is how cheap options are. Uh, Russell 2000 options, even more so than, than S&P and Q's. Russell 2000 options are dirt, dirt, dirt cheap. Uh, so that's something to have in the back of your head. Speaking of volatility, that brings us to the VIX. We got a close below 12. Uh, I believe that is the first real close below 12 since COVID. Um, we are coming up on VIX futures expiration. That is going to be on the 22nd, the morning of NVIDIA earnings. So that'll be interesting. Uh, and you can see there's actually, you know, coming in on Monday, uh, you know, we'll get an adjustment on the weekend. VIX will be above 12. Uh, but the future is only about 1268. So I'm not expecting a huge weekend effect this this Monday. Um, maybe we'll open around 1240, something in that range. Uh, I do think that June in relative terms to the cash seems pretty inexpensive for where it's going to open. Um, so that's something to have in the back of your head. June expires June 18th, so it's about a month away. Uh, just something something to keep in mind. Um, this low VIX uh, has caused me to do a, something interesting. So remember I was talking about my UBXY trade. I said I was going to double my money. I wasn't going to touch it. Well, I lied. I actually took it off up over 70%. Why? Proper risk management. I made so much money so fast. Volatility came in so fast that now I'm in a position with UBXY still at 25 and the VIX at 12 to be able to take my 70%. So I took my 70%, I sold it. So I made, I made uh, you know, I bought my options for about $4.70. I sold them at 8.80. That's a $4.10 profit. Uh, I then am buying the June 28th um, puts uh, to roll lower and I'm gonna own them for a credit. So I'm going to be able to carry this short position. I'm buying myself an extra week and um, I can't lose. It, it was kind of a no brainer. Um, I would have been overly stubborn in order to not um, want to do this role. And frankly, our clients, our traders were begging for me to come up with a role. So 
uh, I met demand and did it. The good news, if you join Trading Desk, you can still get in on this UVXY trade, this new UVXY trade. And there's tons of room for UVXY to roll. In six months, it will be back at $10. So uh, if you want to follow along and trade with me, join Trading Desk. Um, all right, now let's dig into the five stocks I'm watching. It starts with Apple. I think Apple is overbought. Uh, I'm looking for it to potentially pull back toward 180. Uh, the premiums in Apple are pretty darn inexpensive. Uh, so this is a fun one that I I'm keeping an eye on. Next up, Amazon. Walmart reported just absolutely stunning earnings. Uh, Amazon, after getting up to 190, seems to have pulled back. It's approaching its 21 day at 182. Uh, watch that. If it can break that 21 day moving average, could be interesting. Uh, next up is um, NVIDIA. NVIDIA has earnings. This, of course, is the, I think, the most important earnings of the entire year. Uh, they're pricing in, if you look at earnings, about an eight, eight, uh, that, that number is wrong. They're pricing at over eight and a half percent. Um, and normally they're at the looking for six and three quarters. So there is some vol pumped into this. Um, they're looking for about an 80 point move, which is pretty darn crazy. My take, if NVIDIA earnings are bad, S&P is going to go back below 5,000. If they are good then we can continue this slow path higher. If they're incredible, I'm talking margins north of 75%. Now we're talking about S&P to 5,500 before you can blink. Um, next up on my list is going to be X, U.S. Steel. Um, take a look at this thing. It is starting to really fall out of bed. I think there's some real risk of this deal falling apart. Uh, you know, another one that we're watching to see if it falls apart is Vizio. Um, had a nice gap, but we're noticing a lot of put buying. Um, my last stock that I'm watching is CCJ. The uranium stocks uh, are blowing higher. CCJ is at a six month high. Um, other, other uranium stocks also look really strong. The global uranium ETF is blowing higher. NXC, after some disappointing earnings, is uh, running right back up. So there is a lot of, a lot of excitement around uh, nuclear and uranium. All right, let's dig into the commodities a little bit. Gold. You know, it's weird to see the S&P rally like this and gold to go up. Gold is uh, at an all-time high, not inflation adjusted, but it is at an all-time high. Bonds, here's the one to watch. The, the long-term bonds are sitting, TLT is sitting at its 50-day moving average. Um, they are in a death cross. Um, if interest rates start to heat up again, that is going to be a real problem for markets. Uh, and then lastly, oil. Uh, oil after bottoming seems to be catching a little bit of a bid. Uh, let's see. I continue to think it's eventually going to 80. Uh, all right, folks. Uh, there you have it. There's my weekend review. Uh, you want to be able to handle and trade all this stuff? Uh, check out uh, the presentation that Andrew, myself, and our director of uh, product development, Hannah Sellner, put together last Thursday. We walked through the gamma bomb, what's happening, what's why it's so important. Folks, I, you have to educate yourself on what could happen with this gamma bomb. And then you're going to learn about Andrew's um, really portfolio saving strategy, weekly profit cycles. So uh, the link is in this, in this video. Make sure to check it out. All right, everybody, uh, you got questions, email me, mark, uh, support at optionpit.com. Call us 888-872-3301. You're watching this on YouTube. Like, subscribe, leave a question or uh, leave a question or comment in the comments. If you leave a question, I will answer it. All right, folks, I hope you have a great uh, trading week. I'm Mark Sebastian, your